How's it going everyone? I'm Landon with LMR.com and it's the best day of the week. It's Dino Day. And the car we're gonna be dynoing today is our 2011 Mustang GT uh, that we've codenamed the Pace Bumps. We've had this car a very long time. Uh, we ordered the car back in 2010, which was the debut year or the year that the Coyote had returned for the 2011 model year. We ordered this car from a local dealership for its Kona blue in color and it's a track pack car. Now over the years, man, this car has had some hard living. Uh, it's changed faces, it's changed code names, however you want to word it, but up until this point, this is the best it's ever been. Leading up to now, somewhere back in maybe 2013, 2014, the factory Coyote engine let go. Typical early 2011, 2012 fashion, the number eight cylinder uh, got hot, it let go. Around this time, Ford Racing was debuting their brand new Illuminator XS engine. They really didn't have any horsepower, they didn't have any uh, torque ratings on it. They just said 500 plus horsepower rating. So we got one in a very early stages. I think this was one of the very first cars to have one. Uh, not too sure on that, uh, but I could probably say that this was one of the first cars with that Illuminator XS engine. The Illuminator XS engine, it's still a 5.0 or 3.02 short block. It has manly rods, mala pistons, fully CNC ported Boss 3.02 cylinder heads, has the accompanying valve train components to help support the uh, high revving camshafts, which the intake cam has a spec of 13 millimeter lift and 263 degrees of duration at 50,000. So your exhaust cam also has 13 millimeters of lift, 290 degrees of duration at 50,000. It's still an 11 to one compressing engine. And on top of all that, we have a Cobra Jet intake manifold, a Cobra Jet dual 65 millimeter throttle body, a JLT cold air intake, 47 pound injectors. It is tuned by Lund on 93 octane fuel. Now some of the other cool information on the uh, first generation Illuminator XS engine, it has a 12 quart or what I like to say, a three gallon oil pan, of course, you know, for road racing type applications. It also has a production Boss 302 harmonic balancer or crankshaft amper and a billet steel oil pump. Now to accompany the Illuminator XS engine, it has stainless works, long tube headers, high flow cats, and a Bassani cat back. The MT82 was also something that we punted in the trash a few years ago and installed a Tremec T56 Magnum XL transmission with the 266 first gear, so our pull is gonna be made in fourth gear, which is the one-to-one -one ratio. It has an aluminum drive shaft, still has the factory 373 torsion rear diff. It has a set of our SVE Silver X500 wheels uh, that's 19 inches in diameter, and the rear tire spec is a 305 35 19. All right, guys, so enough of me rattling on. Uh, you know the drill. We're gonna make a quick trip around the car, make sure our straps are tight, wheels are torqued, of course, and then we're gonna let this higher revving Illuminator XS sing and get us to the moon. people let's take a look at some results before I give you the results of the way the car sits currently I'm gonna let you know what this setup made uh, with about five or ten miles on the engine back in 2014 whenever we put it in the car so way back when uh, when the engine was very fresh still pretty much all the same stuff same tune the whole nine yards it made 457 horsepower and 388 pound-feet of torque so you fast forward to today so some seven years later uh, a lot of hard living a lot of road racing uh, this car now makes 473 horsepower at 7,700 RPM and 395 pound-feet of torque at 5,300 RPM. Now, needless to say, uh, this car does everything and then some. This is one of our cars we take every time we go road racing, which is several times a year, and we hot lap the thing. It goes session after session, and I'm telling you guys, we beat the absolute hell out of this car, and it always asks us for more. If you like the dyno videos, you guys know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more dyno videos like this, and of course, all of our other great content that we're bringing to you guys. Um, and until next time, you know what to do for all things Mustang. Keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.